Hello and welcome back to Pen Hero Beyond. First of all, yeah, got covered in the background again. Not called Shrek this time, something that came with that Mesh Molly Lee that I technically had, but been on a different wall, but now I have it in my room. Which, by the way, I'm on a different side of the room now, but you can't tell because the wall is exactly the same. Except for poster, but we'll get on that wall before. Yeah, if I had Fortnite, I would put it on there to begin with, but good thing I didn't. Yeah, but I'm, I might put out stuff here at some point. I might even change it out. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Pen Hero Vlog. Okay, take care of that code. First up, that purple guy, written by Michelle Fitz. Yeah, the link is pronounceable. The look at the code is equal to that purple girl, which was my least favorite episode from season one. Not bad. It wasn't kind of done necessarily, but it was my least favorite. Um, making it go to like world for like alien like avatar to take people. It was like kind of story where, like yeah, then the moon flying over girl who basically a bitch and basically using them, and it was just you know kind of story I've seen before and it was particularly entertaining and kind of, I don't know, kind of weak, but not bad, it was alright. But um, so when I heard they are doing the Kiko, I'm like, okay, a first Kiko episode to something I wasn't thinking about the first time. So, how the Kiko, okay, so, man, there's a lot to unpack in the world, um, okay, basically, I want to go, basically, at the end, they had forced the bitchy princess to, um, very like ugly monster dude. I can't remember all the details and I feel like that kind of mean the button to the like, cup code. Um but, but when they return to the world, um they find out she had gone out of it via a lawyer, but now they have come back in order to basically force them to marry together because of the power of them combined will stop the bad guy including Rippin. I I guess I don't know particularly well explained it was kind of like we got for them, you know, be together, you know, for them to be together again. Cause, yeah, they basically turned, well, basically took a gag ending into a big hullabaloo, which is weird, you know. You know, off the bat, something weird about Mugen and Gum. We don't, he fell like in the cup code, that might be one of the first about her. Uh, we just start with them in the world, actually. Good guy, okay. Okay, so we start with the two guys. You know, we start in that world and you two guys and one guy go, Hey, remember if we go we blacked out come remember everything that happened in the last few days? I feel like the happening again. And then Pen Pen Boom Clock we come in. And now we know what happens to him apparently with the people when they take over when they take over him in the world. And at the end when they leave them and they're like, Oh, what but we blacked out again. That's what happens. They black out and they just forget. <laughs> yeah. And apparently yeah, Clary, my favorite part, but I still have questions, um, because it's like, um, the guy won't go, hey, remember you did X thing, and they're like, what? They don't mention that, apparently they just completely blocked out. Yeah, I do wonder if we're gonna get elaboration on that, or if that's gonna be the end of that. It was funny, though, it was pretty funny. Um, you know, like, uh, for the episode in general, I'm not sure what I feel about it. <laughs> I guess you want better than me, that purple girl, but it's a little bit weird. Uh, okay, so, um, instead of just, like, she's still full of a bitch, but she, like, trying to, like, let him down gently in a bitchy way, instead of just simply being a bitch like she was before, like, I guess I was part of my church team leading and make it seem like on, but that's kind of different than what she's doing here. You know, and, um, and basically what happened in your gum. Oh, the first thing to pop up is that Pen and Boone are really guidelines because it's actually about Gossie helping them out, so cool, but I got kind of wish they kind of, uh, but, um, but, oh well, so Pen and Boone basically doing something in this episode, um, but, um, so, but apparently Drink On was the race of things, the monster thing. Um, he said he's getting a part of the like, the thing, and he said he's getting now he's a beefy hot dude, and then she think, oh, I made a mistake, and trying to get him, because now he can't have come in, you kind of know where this is going. Um, um, but Uncle Weaver, apparently totally unaware of the fact that he's now 
for Capcom, and they can go fuck Doug and feel that she's only going after him for rewards. Yeah, we're gonna get the BB situation. We're like, God, yeah, you can't come curse you or whatever. Yeah. You know? Um. Uh, you know. Um. You know. Um. But. So basically, so now they start doing some digging stuff, and there's actually a really nice song sequence where they both kind of sing about, you know, how kids love home girls like me or whatever. Not no, you're not gross anymore. And it's actually a really nice song sequence. Um. In general, I think it's got some music, like, like that bit at the beginning and the end, and there's some, there's some good jokes, definitely. We're pretty there, you know, but I like, I like the plan to crash a wedding. <laughs> that was kind of pretty funny. Um, you know, I really have a lot to do in life, but they're there. Um, well, to them. Um, um, but, but y yeah, so you probably know where Jane Galaxy get big pilly up the world, so so to, we can get involved with spoilers because I just gotta talk about the ending here. Um <laughs> which means you can skip to the you know, time stamp to whatever that that would start to be on. But um but I get before I mentioned boy, I should mention it kept going debatable because it's like Called part, yeah, it was just kind of messy, you know, it feels like, I don't know, it's just weird watching the couple code, you know, it's like, with the, some of the characters are, you know, and some that yeah, weaker, but I think that's a better idea of what, see, so this one is definitely kind of streamlined, but it has some other elements, and I don't even know what the little next penalty is supposed to be, it feels like they're trying to be perversive, but kind of fail, so, it's debatable, I think it's continuing on good, but also kind of weird, but, um, but now that I have a way to talk about that ending, okay. So, of course, we're gonna get married, but then his metamorphosis is complete, so what if he turns back into basically the ugly guy, I get now the purple. You know, and now she's having not one victim. Anything she calls the winning off, and, and I guess because of this little point where Benny ever come in, that why he ends the all off get. In time being, then Kashi, of course, awesomely, she go out, but. Then, Green Con go to like defend, defend her and say, hey, she might be rattling off all these things, making gay, she go horrible, horrible bitch, no, you can call it gross, whoever. But, but, um, what was it, but? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember what it was, but honestly, can't remember what it was, but, <laughs> um, uh, okay, wow, but I'm forgetting things we have already, which is weird. Kind of a memorable episode, all things considered. Um, uh, I can't remember. The point is because he had like so. Oh my god, I can't remember. They just watched it. Oh my god. Um, the point is. He is still staying with her in spite of all that because of that she maybe she still loves her, maybe he still loves her like in spite of all that. I don't know, but try to be subversive with him finding that because of uh, her bitchiness that's why he is being with her in spite of that. But it's like, because she's totally okay with that, she went from hanging on because of purely looks for such. You showed up to me with one time for being in the making camp, so I'll be with you forever. Yeah, can yeah, fat bear should not last. Look, I could try to be covertive, but in the end, I had no idea what the moral is. It's like, you know, it's it, it trying to do. It's like, at first, I'm trying to do a uh, kind of be beat that Shrek thing of the whole being guy that counts, whatever, and maybe have her basically. You know. Yeah, but yeah, but instead they wanted to convert even that, but you give more guys so I could talk about give them the end like kind of that, because converting something convert could make sense. But again, it's not getting all the way there, but, but yeah, the cup so weird, I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe, you'd have to watch it to get it, but overall, overall, I think going it perfectly fine, I feel like, yeah, it would get interesting seeing what was going to happen, I like the design, I like what the joke, you know, like, Long, but I don't quite like how kind of corny Becky was really kind of feel, and how 
that's a little confused on what I'm trying to say. You know, so... So yeah, very fat purple guy. Wow, this went on, went on just as long as, almost as long as we have two episodes. That kind of went episode that kind of confused me that much. And the final sequel episode, I said this one probably had me both to do story-wise, yeah, I get it. You know, a few of them do story-wise, you know, go off of it. This one is like, so direct that it might be confusing if you forgot what happened in the first one. So, yeah, we have to go for that again and maybe perhaps it'll make a little more sense, but I think it's making a pretty confusing episode, but I shall see you for the next one and see how scary that one is. Okay, now for segment number two. We have Rue Tilda, written by Come On, and if. Yeah, that <laughs> name guy couldn't remember it. Go, so, we have yet another sequel episode, a first sample two in one and a half hours. This time it's a sequel to Planty Wood Katie of Flora. We have to go with the noir plant. Yes, really. No plenty of power plant, though. He's not in this one either. Get it out then. Okay, <laughs> the next one, they go back to Plant World, so we can get this one over. Um, go back to Plant World, and big yet to cover another mystery. This time, basically, he catches flight. I see, I don't remember everything that was happening, or everything more about the payoff, but basically, with the other person, Plant, then come again, like, probably came for them. And also, Boone has disappeared and they must find him. So, um, uh, so, yeah, first of all, my favorite part of it is like, going through narration, and they take that up a notch by making a lot of narrator basically hang. In fact, I took out Boone and get took some sort of voice, so I got he actually, the thing out in Penn's pocket, the seed thing, which came out Penn couldn't tell, and you can't tell where that come from the pocket, I guess. Should, should it be Buffalo in there? But whatever. The point is, it's a pretty funny twist, and they kind of play off of that. And a very... And Joe looks like a pretty funny episode. Um, there's some you know, uh, good jokes, definitely, all around. Um, my pen trying to narrate is great. Um, oh, if you're wondering if any character pushed back, not quite. Slashing fairly cold time, making joke at them. Yeah, satizing him for narrating. And boom, yo, he was making so intentionally so. Look at Larry one Sour Cat push back a bit. That Larry gets one scene, but it's a pretty funny scene, like a whole bit at the end that they do. That's pretty good. Um Joe Klein was definitely definitely very enjoyable. Um in terms of story it's fine. Um the thing of it does feel like more of a repeat kind of sequel. Not a kind of rehash. Feels like they brought this more back to do big in the case thing, do another mystery, but this time make it a little more convoluted. And if that's what they're going for, once again they did a pretty good job. The first one I think is better, but this one has what made me like that one is the noir style, but probably very neat guy to play and a lot of the funny jokes, especially with the I'm gonna have a running gag with all into a newspaper. You know, the whole newspaper cliche, the headline thing, and they can good joke with that. Um <laughs> So yeah, that stuff pretty interesting. Um, it, you know, in terms of like all the twists, I got that guy. Not too huge, that, you know, it's not too old toll. You can't in between, though, but not totally unpredictable. But you can't have that so unpredictable, you can go immediately. Like in the, like what we'll be able to quickly add kind of the mystery type out, going out immediately, I knew who was the answer was, but that for younger audience, I understand why that make it more obvious. There's stuff one. Yeah, well, typically, obviously. Well, I don't know. When you see it, you might be able to figure it out. But, um, but for me, I was trapped enough to where I didn't care too much. But, um, I don't care for enough and the dumb thing they do with Boone, which is not too dissimilar to a dumb thing we did with Boone and then, um, that thing, uh, anime episode and some dumb thing. And it got a kind of a lame gag. You know, it's like. I, well, I even if I'm seeing it, there's been kind of a link kind of pay off to something. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil that, but no point for this one. You know, you got to give the one I actually got to get. Um, so yeah, pretty good episode. Uh, pretty fun, but not quite a normal story while I got that. For going in, the end of the gag is kind of lame, but not too big of a deal. I feel like it's a pretty good episode. And the problem with that big deal is all about the style of the joke, and on that level, it's pretty fun. So. Yeah, that had a lot to care about the other one, and between that to nothing to care about this one.
So, yeah, just to bundle up go with more plans. And two flaps go back to back, a little weird. But, oh well. So, bad acting are get up go for today. What a bag, right? We got what up go that was basically a mess where I didn't want to even, which I have some good jokes in general, but wasn't quite sure what I was trying to do with her. Not because that's had flawed, but was pretty entertaining. With that purple guy, I think like, I kind of can do what I'm trying to do, but it just feels weird. You know, we're trying, that's because they're trying to be a little perversive with their ending, but in the end, it feels a little like we're trying too hard, and I just don't know what the point is. But again, maybe I'll probably have to watch it again. At some point, I probably watched again along with the original so I can have a little more contact. But, um, the other one I get definitely met to tell to if I got one of the weakest movies so far. Um, yeah, but I don't know. The tell two would be definitely had a lot of creativity. So, there are some creativity in the other one. Um, I don't know. I think they're both kind of roughly equal. It got for one of the both of the anime. But yeah, anyway, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we have the most dangerous world imaginable slash trading faces. We've got to go with the obligatory body swap. Go, go, that should be fun. The only cops on buying the world is one, anyway. Kinda. But, get go find out tomorrow. That's the first one. Oh boy. So, I shall see you tomorrow. Hopefully, the episode will relax and then kind of be too kind of work. But, I shall see you tomorrow for that. Goodbye.